friends welcome back to channel sidekicker in this video i'm going to do the battery draining test in the realme gt neo 2 device while playing the battery guns mobile game so this is a question which has been requested by a few of my subscribers asking me to make a special video playing the battery guns mobile game in this phone that's what i'm going to do friends and right now i did charge the realme gt neo 2 100 percentage complete battery is also filled as you can clearly see here charging complete one minute ago we got a message and during this time i'll try to use the data so i mean 4g data not wi-fi connection 4g data only and i'll try to select the brightness maybe close to 60 percent brightness not much not less so 60 percent should be kind of really good and is a bad bad events mobile game so let me try to open the game and disable the charging cable and i'm starting the stopwatch as well i'll try to play the game for a couple of uh, hours friends let's see how much the battery will be draining in the realme gt neo 2 during this time of usage and I'm going to use the smooth and extreme settings only and I'll be playing continuously non-stop uh, non-stop I'll try to play and I'll try to give this phone to my brother as well in case if I'm kind of busy he will be playing continuously and let's see how much higher temperatures can actually increase in this phone and let me try to add the game into the gain space I forgot to add it I think so let's go to the battery guns mobile game and so right now I did add into the gain space you can clearly see now it's visible the CPU and the GPU percentage and everything completely visible for you all. So let's see if it's using this kind of uh, 4G data testing how much battery can be drained. After one hour again I'll be back maybe after 30 minutes in this way we'll be able to calculate how much battery is draining in the Realme GT Neo 2 while using 4G data. Clearly you can see the 4G data sim 1. And unfortunately there is no 90 fps and there is no aptic feedback in this phone because aptic feedback is really very strong in this device it's fantastic so it's very strong but still sad part is that realme ui did not optimize to use our aptic feedbacks so i cannot understand that kind of point as well why they did like that but overall during this time i'll definitely try to play continuously friends in terms of the battery guns mobile gameplay non-stop just to see how is the battery how much the battery can all drain during this time of demonstration as well so in case if you have any other queries let me know in the comment section below friends but overall definitely it feels really smooth as well nothing much major complaint except if they include 90 fps that could have been really better in this device but unfortunately the snapdragon 870 still did not get the 90 fps and you can see the overall uh, fps count it's about close to 60 fps we are maintaining let's see I'll try to do the drop test and then I'll try to end up this I'll try to again uh, back after 30 minutes in the beginning the temperature is of I think close to 36 35.8 in the beginning not bad 36 degrees so all friends if you're playing with the 60 fps the temperature will not increase in the realme gt near 2 it will not increase it will be always close to 36 and 35 only if you're trying to play with the 60 fps only the temperature increases when you're trying to play at uh, 90 fps so other than that the temperatures will not increase and the battery can also not drain much yes in my usage that's the one thing which i didn't understand so battery also won't drain and uh, phone also won't heat that much so i'll try to use the this flinger sleeves also to play this kind of gameplay when the loudspeaker also works pretty good dual loudspeaker which is also fantastic Overall, the FPS will be definitely maintaining the 60 FPS only throughout the gameplay. You can see it's maintaining 60 and 57, not bad. In terms of the FPS count and the GPU and the CPU, you can see the percentage of it utilizing. So nothing much major. Temperatures right now it's of 36.8 degrees. So I will be back maybe after 30 minutes of continuously playing with the 4G data only, non-stop. So only with the 4G data I'm trying to play non-stop. So I'm gonna be back after 30 minutes of continuously gameplay. 
So right now as you can see when it's been close to getting 30 minutes of continuously playing the Badawan's mobile game. Let's check the temperatures how much it is. Right now it's of 37.2 degrees it increased a little bit and the battery dropped to 93 percentage. Clearly you can see for the 30 minutes of gameplay only. 30 minutes and with the same 60 percent brightness and using the 4G data connection. And for 30 minutes it decreased by 7 percent is decreased in 30 minutes of time. So let's see friends what will be the overall battery draining test again after one hour again I'll be trying to come back. So till now the battery draining was kind of okay I would say nothing much major complaints regarding the battery draining at this moment but uh, let's see what will be the real time FPS how much it's gonna drop at this moment of doing the drop test. Right now we'll be able to see the exact drop test what is happening how much FPS it's drop. It's getting low as you can see. So I did turn on the gyroscope sensor as well during this time of demonstration. I am playing continuously, non-stop. So not bad in terms of the overall. And temperatures it's of 35, 35, 35, 36.8 degrees slightly high. But in the front side it's of 34.6, 38.2 as you can see sorry 37.4. 38 as well on the top set somewhere around here somewhere it did reach 38 degrees in terms of the temperatures wise not bad regarding the fps drop test so even the temperature maybe for one hour the battery might be dropping up to close to i think 14 percentage maybe 14 to 15 percentage on an average if you try to take because for 30 minutes it dropped by 7% so for 1 hour if you take the average of 15% of the battery I need to do the math as well so if you do the math like this uh, under divided by 15 it might be kind of close to 6 and a half hours of battery guns mobile game continuously so this is a 5000 mAh of battery capacity friends and this is a quick test which I am trying to do only short test so when I'm trying to do the epic kind of uh, battery draining test, it's not possible for me to play continuously. But when I'm trying to do this kind of gaming test, I can actually play continuously the games. That's the main reason why I'm interested in this kind of results. So in the epic draining test, where because I cannot play in all the phones at the same time. So this will give the average figure what is going on as well in terms of the battery draining test. That's the main advantage of doing this kind of short test every time. But overall it was really good experience playing the game, nothing much frame drops or not much heat happening at this point. So right now it's kind of close to 38.6 degrees, 38.8 degrees as you can see 38.8 degrees Celsius. So I can be back maybe close to one hour of time then I can actually check what is happening with the temperatures again after some time. So meanwhile I'll try to play non-stop. So I'm trying to play non-stop friends continuously. So, spending my time, I do know it's kind of, I'm really busy at this moment, but still few of the users, they want to know how is the battery draining. That's why I decided to do maybe only few hours of testing, one or two hours of testing continuously, battery draining test. And the phone started to heat little, little bit. So I will be back after one hour of time, then we can actually discuss what is happening with the overall temperatures and everything. So how much battery will be draining after one hour. So right now the battery drained to 92%. You can see clearly 92%. So on an average, maybe the phone can come up to seven, I think seven hours as well. But right now the temperature is, you can see 39.2 degrees, it increased. The temperature is slightly higher. The temperatures are actually coming slightly increasing little by little when I'm trying to play the game. Right now my room temperature is pretty low. It's I think only 31 degrees my room temperature nothing much there is no AC there is no cooler in my room and the temperature start to increase 39.6 degrees as well. So the heat is coming friends from the I think inside from the phone maybe because of this cooling system which is present it's kind of sending all the heat outside I think so. That 
As you can see friends, after playing for about one hour of time continuously, the battery on mobile came in the Realme GT Neo 2 using 4G data connection only. I'll be able to show you the battery dropped up to 86% as you can clearly see friends. So as is expected, the battery is dropping around close to 14% uh, maybe, 14 to 15% for one hour of time. And the temperature did went up to 39 degrees as well. Right now you can see 39 degrees Celsius. So 39 degrees on the front side and on the back side 37.4. So slightly high temperatures we are trying to detect at this moment. You can clearly see what is happening in terms of the temperatures wise. So I'll, again, I'll try to uh, come back maybe after close to one and a half hour of time. Then we can actually check what is happening with the battery percentage, how much the battery can be dropping and how much the high temperatures the phone can actually reach during this process of demonstration. So I'll just try to do the mini kind of battery draining test only friends only for maybe two hours of time because I need to do plenty of other things as well. I mean in terms of comparing with other smartphones. That's the reason I cannot spend much time in terms of the playing continuously. So this is a kind of intense kind of testing I'm trying to do. Intense, non-stop playing continuously. That's the reason. And what I can do one more thing. Maybe I'll try to play the team net match. So for one hour I did play the classic match. Now I'll try to play the team net match for one more hour. Let's see what happens. So I'm trying to balance both because few users they want the team net match and few users they want the classic match. But let's see. Using team net match non-stop. This will be kind of intense kind of gaming because every time I need to continuously move here and there I need to shoot. So in this way we'll be able to figure out what is happening as well. So I can be back maybe after close to again one hour and 30 minutes then we can actually discuss in the more details about the temperatures. How much the temperature is increasing in this device. So these are just round figure uh, results only friends in terms of the draining results. So maybe 14% and 15%. So overall it's a round figure you can definitely consider. Overall like the experience is really smooth and very good. Nothing much made the complaints about the experience in the Realme GT Neo 2. Nothing much made the problems as well. As you can see friends, overall the experience is very smooth, nothing much major complaints. So apart from the slightly temperatures are increasing up to 40 degrees as well, that's the one thing you should definitely understand in terms of temperature increasing the temperatures. Again, I'll be back after exactly one hour and 30 minutes of time, then we can actually discuss more details about the heating and all the details, what is happening with the device. So right now friends, I'm playing for the close to one and a half hour of time. You can clearly see the time. And let me just show you the battery percentage, how much it dropped. It dropped to 79 percentage, you can clearly see. So on an average friends, as I said, so for 30 minutes, 7 percentage is dropping. Doesn't matter what team that match or classic match you play. So for one hour, 14 percentage, the battery is decreasing. This is a decreasing rate in the Realme GT Neo 2. So playing at 60 percent brightness and using the 4G data sim, not with the Wi-Fi. So if you use the Wi-Fi, maybe the results might be different. With the Wi-Fi connection. But with the 4G data connection, these are the results which we are getting exactly. With the 4G data connection and the temperature is increasing up to 38.8 degrees as you can see, 38.4. So continuously I'm playing the team that match friends non-stop in this device. And overall experience was really good, not bad. I wish they could have included the 4D vibrations in the phone. Some kind of uh, software thing they could have added that could be really better because I did like the overall 4D vibrations and haptic feedbacks in this device. So overall it was really good, great experience playing in the in this phone, not bad. As you can see friends overall it was not bad. 
And I did turn on the gyroscope sensorizer during this time of demonstration. So on an average, I'm trying to check friends how much the battery will be dropping for two or one and a half hour. So one and a half hour, we got to know the battery dropped up to, I think uh, 78 percentage, you can see 78 and 79 percentage. Or 20, 20 percent is decreased for one and a half hour of time. Twenty percentage for one and a half hour time, not bad. So I can be back maybe close to two hours of time then we can actually see what is happening with the temperatures in this device and how much the battery is draining for two hours as an average we can take into the conclusion and then I'll definitely do the epic kind of battery draining test as well comparing with other phones. So my main point is if I try to do the epic kind of battery draining test you can find out not that accurate results that's my main problem. If I try to play the game continuously in this way only then we'll be able to understand average how much the battery is draining in the each phone that's the main point of me doing this kind of testing friends so let's see how much the battery will be draining again i'll be back maybe close to two hours of time in two hours of time we can actually decide what is happening with the battery draining in this phone the realme they did climb the phone can actually come up to i think eight hours of gameplay but so right now as you can see friends we're getting close to exactly i think uh, two hours of gameplay non-stop playing in the phone So let me need to show you the what is the battery percentage. Battery percentage dropped to 71 percentage. You can clearly see using the 4G data with the 60 percent brightness only. So I'm trying to play only with the 50 percent brightness at this 60 percent. Not sorry, not 50. So let's see friends what will happen with the gameplay and after again 2 hours I'll try to, up, try to show you exactly after 2 hours of time. And right now it's kind of exact time so victory and the Pluton let me show you so 70% of the battery. Then clearly see friends for two hours I'm playing continuously only the battery on mobile camera. Let me just show you the battery usage as well. Screen on time you can see exactly two hours, 70% and two hours. Continuously I'm trying to play the battery on mobile game with the same 60% brightness only. So overall one thing is that 15% will decrease for every hour. So this is the kind of average try to take into the consideration using the 4G data connection, using 60% using smooth and XM settings graphics only during the process of demonstration. That's how what I am trying to play only with smooth and XM settings. So because there is no 90 FPS. So if you do the math and if you do the calculations, the phone can actually come close to 6 and a half hours of time. I think 6, uh, six and a half hours of gameplay. As you can see overall, let me to open the calculator. As I said, for 100 percentage and divided by 15 percentage so 6.6 .6 hours of continuously gameplay may be close to six eight and a half hours and seven hours of gameplay is possible in the realme gt neo 2 while playing the battery on mobile game i'll try to do the epic kind of battery running test so very soon so make sure to stay tuned for those videos and the temperatures did increase up to 40 degrees as well during my testing while playing the classic match team death match the temperature did not increase much while playing the team death match so it was about close to 36 and 37 38 only but while playing the classic match the temperature did increase in the realme gt neo 2 this complete complete gameplay review friends on the realme gt neo 2 which i am really eagerly waiting for a long time to do and finally i got a chance to uh, make this video and let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts on this particular topic and straight of more updates definitely i'll try to post more and more videos later to this phone is it worth to buy or not for the gaming at this moment the 5000 mAh of battery i'm not sure whether maybe we might get only 30 minutes extra gameplay when compared with other four i think 4500 mAh of battery capacity even similar kind of battery draining i did observe in other smartphones as well yes even in the 4500 mAh of battery capacity is also similar kind of thing i did observe that's it friends, thank you for watching this video and this is a quick battery draining 
Battery Nerds Mobile Game Play Test in the Realme GT Neo 2. See you in the next video and let's get more updates. Meanwhile, signing off and bye.